Hey, what up, homies? It's your man's Coach Smetta. We coming to you live from our PS3. It is currently week eight of our UNT Dynasty season six, episode six. This week, we're headed to, to Ames, Iowa to take on Iowa State. Looked over their roster. They're actually very solid, especially defensively. Offensively, they leave something to be desired. They don't have a lot of speed on the outside, but they have a very solid offensive line, a dual threat quarterback, and uh, yeah, um, I'm expecting it to be a tough game. Iowa State, they just, if I remember correctly, they play us with a very conservative style of defense, and that's given us issues in the past because, I mean, we can drive, but honestly, our strength is hit you in the middle, hit you in the middle, and then use our speed to go up top. But before we get into the, the Iowa State comparisons, last week was a huge recruiting weekend for us. We had a, we, we, we welcomed Iowa, uh, Iowa State, Oklahoma State, to uh, Apogee Stadium, and we ended up getting, I believe it was five commits, but some very important team building commits. Now, remember when Vincent Galloway committed a couple of years ago, I was like, yo, this dude, program changer, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. You remember the spiel. The big guy I was on this year, Jimmy Clemens. Now, we have a blue chip signing as well, but this was the guy for as far as our defensive front one because uh we battled for him like there were a lot of teams who who wanted this kid he fits everything we want to do good speed that man coverage starting off with this with man coverage in the 70s and the, the zone coverage in the 70s that's huge 80 strength 80 oh, you know 80 plus hit power the tackling the pursuit all of it he's the type of the block shed we can we can put him in the pass rush like his versatility is the type of thing that we want with our, uh, we usually play three linebackers, sometimes two on the field. Guys like him, who can kind of do a bit of everything. And then our five, uh, blue chip signing out of Robinson, Texas, six foot two, six foot two, 187 pound, Jonathan Noel. Uh, he can kind of do a little bit of everything. Like we could put him at quarterback. Uh, I think he could play any of our secondary positions he kind of he kind of fits in that vincent galloway kind of mode he's not as fast but he does have the 92 strength the 90 agility and almost 90 acceleration so by the time he's really into his groove he's going to be just a problem uh because of that man coverage and press we may put him at corner but what kind of what kind of really works with us is, is, is putting him at safety and then putting more of the you know the, uh, the f even faster players at corner, so you just play up top. But yeah, wherever we put him, he's going to be an impact player probably immediately. And so, yeah, those are the two big ones we got. Uh, Sam Hale, he uh, <laughs> he signed on for us. We got both of our fullback guys we were going after. Uh, Dominique Bellamy, speed guy. We'll, we'll see what happens with him. I think... We're gonna put him on the defensive side because he's got the, the man coverage, his own coverage and the press are high as opposed to what he can do in, in, in the backfield, even though I like I like a fast guy. But he doesn't he doesn't fit the mold of the running back I want. The running backs I want are also the, the 90 92 3 speed, the 90 agility, the 90 television guy. So we're not gonna so much worry about him, but yeah. Jimmy Clemens, Jonathan Noel, those are the two guys that are gonna really push this program even further. And then, hey, second little tidbit. Guess who's back in the Heisman's race? Hey. Hey. Galloway back in the Heisman race. So, yeah, we got to make a strong push, guys. Iowa State, we talked about him a little bit. Her, uh, Herb Street likes us. And they've even got a fullback visiting out of Madison Heights, Miss, uh, Michigan. <laughs> I, I Honestly, I think it's a bad decision. I, I think we're going to beat them. Obviously, I think we're going to win every game. But we should beat them. I don't think we have any injuries. They do. Mr. Brown is probable. Looking at their schedule, they lost to Iowa in a rivalry game in South Florida last week. Eh. Not so impressive over a decent over a FCS school. And then Akron. So we're their first big, big challenge. I mean, they lost their first one. But we're the first team that they're gonna line up and they're absolutely outclassed. And they are not the first team we're playing who we should be, uh, beat. 
But last week was the first time we actually blew somebody else. Everybody else was a one score game. We'll see if we've turned a corner. We will continue our off man uh, defensive coverage. But we actually match up really well with Iowa State's receivers, so we may be able to just play more man bump. Coming to the game, their quarterback is a dual threat. He's thrown zero interceptions so far. He's been pretty efficient. Reese, close to 100 yards a game, 6.3 yards per carry. That's high. And then the receiver, there's kind of receivers by committee. Like, no, none of the receivers are special. But that doesn't mean that uh, any one of them can pop off against us. We just got to stay solid. For us, you know what it is. Mr. Galloway hasn't been so efficient with the interceptions this year, but the yards, the yards per attempt, more importantly, is just just kind of eye-popping. We are running back by committee. Orton is the, the most stable of our running backs. But, uh, yeah, I believe four, five, six guys are going to carry the football. And Goss making his play for the Bolitnikov. Averaging over 20 yards a carry. Seven touchdowns already. And 128.4 yards per game. Had a big one last week. Defensive guys, Jake, leading us in interceptions at two. It should be more. I think he's dropped a couple. And uh, Mr. Doyle just all over the place. So, Iowa State, Ames, Iowa, here we come. Let's get it. We're in Story County in Central Iowa, getting ready to bring you this exciting football matchup. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. You see rest of the corner. Pass committee ran across. Oh, I can't leave this. Almost a big I saw the drag and I was about to come down, but then I saw the post out the corner of my eye and I had uh, yo, my man had to hit that 180 turn. All right, this time we're gonna man up. We're gonna man two. Uh, kind of hoping to give us some kind of zone blitz. Let's see. Took a chance there. That was gonna be all bad. Got it. Wasn't warmed up. Was gonna get a terribly inaccurate throw. All right, just in case it's a. Uh... Okay. He's scrambling. He's gonna scramble. We're gonna come down and somebody hit this man hard. <laughs> Chris Carter's closing speed. Oh my lord. We have no spy, but yo, we got off the block. Is that? Who was that? Is that Riley? Ian Riley. Have a chance to make something happen. With the block shed. When the defense is in your face like that. With the shed at the right time. Nice. How does this? Oh, say, how does it not have a screen pass in it? This could be okay if they don't run with our with our running back. Okay, this could be very good. One guy to beat. Ooh, put the wiggles on him. To put the wiggles on them, the sparkling the wiggles. We're gonna see. I, bro, I brain farted. That's not on Galloway. I can't even be mad. I brain farted so hard. I hit the wrong button and everything. I was trying to throw the ball to my running back out, running out to the flat to the left, but fingers and brains, yo. That's what I get. I just woke up. That's what I get. Set to resume action. Ball on the 39 yard line. I did not spot like the man. <clears throat> I am I ever gonna come down and try to hit him really, really hard? Somebody went on the outside. I'll make the throw, hopefully. Nobody won. He wants it all going long. Incredibly inaccurate pass. <clears throat> Our offense is in a box. Okay, no I have no spy if he takes off running. Is that is that Riley again? Oh no, this is uh my Andre Oliver up front. Nice. We need first downs. They're in cover zero, my gosh. Let's see. Good block. Solid D. That was an accurate pass, though, so it looks like we can throw the ball. Power. Okay. Trying to run outside on us. Shouldn't have successfully been able to get outside on us. Oh, my God. All right. All right. Wait, wait to decide that they score. 
If anything, maybe something in the middle, but that? That's dumb. That was dumb. That. Once again, they're, uh, we're gonna modify. He underthrew it. He underthrew it. That's on Galloway. There was no reason to underthrow that. And we have what I want. If we have time. Okay, it is man. We're just gonna throw this. I wanted to throw to Goss, but that was a nice play. You know, we talk Foster won very quickly on that slant. Sometimes you don't win that slant, but he was he was naked. Goss. Focus. They're all over everything we wanted to do there. Wow, what a why did I call timeout? That's how frustrated I am. I didn't even think. All right, so this will be a 45-yard field goal. What happened? Uh, what happened, Pat? What? What did we do on fourth down? That was supposed to be a field goal. Oh my god. We're playing man this time because last time we got crap. Let's make the tackle. Huh, face mask him. That was Pearson, right? That wasn't that wasn't Jake. Because first you got beat on the slant by a guy who shouldn't beat you on the slant. Okay, it was Pearson. Thank you, they missed the field goal because I would have lost my stuff. All right, it's it's halftime. We'll, we'll start with uh, A, if you have not liked the video, like the video, comment. How you, are you feeling? What, do you like what you're seeing? You hate what you're seeing just like I do? I'm not Hollywood yet. Share the video wherever you think other people might also want to watch the video. And sub if you're not sub. Halftime adjustments. Uh... Just gonna walk, walked around the locker room, slapped everybody on the wrist and said, stop it. Cause what the hell? Like just stop it, just stop being bad. Stop not executing. Simple, like schematically, we aren't doing anything wrong. We're just not executing. So yeah, we're, we're gonna try that. Hey, safety. Oh no, he's walking into the box. We must, I can either be patient and wait for Goss on the left or I can just go to Jackson. Jackson won immediately. Have to. Have to. He might be gone. You don't catch Justin Jackson. You just don't. <clears throat> you just don't. You just don't. You just don't. Once I identified man, Jackson beat him off the line immediately. Immediately. That's Satan in the safety was playing in the middle of the field. But we had no post. They closed the middle of the field, but we were we were attacking the, the sideline, so yeah. Okay, I'm on the slant. We should be on stick. When he turns up field. Oh, ho, ho. Do what you do, Jay. We're putting an athletic guy in the spy. This time, Brown, you go. Oh, it's vertical. Okay. He's on the run. I was expecting some kind of corner concept or a post to, to, to start opening up. Maybe even a dig, but nah, it was just verticals. We're going to stick. Stick is simple. Stick is an easy read. Mr. Cross. Mm. Let's see. Okay, that safety is not on the hash. If it's cover two, we might have Jackson. Okay, he's sprinting out there. But he's not on. He, he wasn't wide enough. The junior makes the catch. He was not that wide enough. I like I like the little nuances of the game. The only thing I don't like is that they'll play cover two without the the ability to play cover two. Like that safety has to know, hey, that guy can get up can get upfield really fast. And so I need to be uh hugging this. All right. Let's see what we're getting. Oh, they're the those they're the Reds are. I'm like, wait, that's what we've been getting. The double team up to the linebacker was good. 
It finally worked. Did you see it in the middle? Look, look, 6-5. Myers, thank you. Jake was getting routed. All right, this time I think they might do it from the inside. Oh, no, it's a screen once again. I'm oh, wow. Their quarterback is having himself a bad game. He does not do if we're not man bumping. So the offense turns over the pigskin. Ooh, the Johnson. Here was just careless in handling the ball. The man, you're gonna get routed. Touchdown, North Texas. You try to deal with how thick Dykes is, then I'm gonna pull it. Like, what? What do you do against us in the red zone? We are very good red zone offense. Game has been ah, all right. Oh no, they tried to trick me, but I ain't gonna let that happen. Oh, go get it, Pearson. Come on, bro. That's time to be prime time, bro. But I've got to help. Oh, it's Vert. Go get it, Jake. Go get it, Jake. Go get it, Jake. I swear sometimes Jake make me proud. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh yeah, this guy. Mm, I don't like it. I don't like it. You know what I like even more? The poor positioning of that safety. Let's take advantage of it. Ryan, go. Okay. He's trying to get out there. I'm forcing it. Force it in the hole. That safety, EA, for the next game, that safety has to be on the hash or he's got to book it at the snap of the ball. Because based on the position of my receivers, he has to know if one goes vertical, his, his corner is going to uh, try to you know force him to release inside, which he did. But then he's in no man's land because you don't have you know different versions of the cover two yet. We're just gonna do it. Just go, Goss. Don't don't even. Oh no. Oh no. All right, just run it, Galloway. Juke. Don't 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 die. Get, come come on, Vincent. That just broke the cyclone at mascot's heart, and you know what? I don't care, bro. All right, it's definitely not cover two because there's no way the safety on Goss is going to get out to McDonald's. So it's probably some kind of cover three. There's nobody on Goss. How dare you disrespect Sean Goss? That's the guy you spotlight. You keep three people on him. They sent the uh, safety off the edge and there's nobody out. I think the, the closest guy was a linebacker. And I'm pretty sure he was in more of a seam flat. So he's not even... His first inclination is not to get out to the flat, it's to protect the bird, so. Did not get home, lost contained. Pearson did not schmike, actually it was, it was a real soft tackle. Pearson, you gotta lay wood, bro. Oh, we are absolutely bringing pressure here. Under pressure. They ran verticals. That's a great tackle at the 38. We are absolutely bringing the, 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 the guys. The boys. We're going to do it again. Okay. Verticals. And again, they sacked the quarterback. Yeah. The Except we're in off man, so there's no chance that we get beat immediately. But yeah, go get them. All right, four minute offense. Four minute offense to bleed this clock. We can double team up to that backer plus the read option. Okay. Okay. Let's fall forward. I, th I think we might be able to go into the uh, the victory formation after that. That might be ball game, ball game. No timeout. Very patient on the read. Good blocking by the uh, receiver. 18 yard line. It's first down. Say it with me now. My university has class. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off. Had to squeeze every second out of that. North Texas. 
that's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. Well, hey guys. That, uh, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, man. These games, every one of them just takes on a mind of its own. I don't like the consistent slow starts. And then, you know, some teams, they, they just aren't as good as us. Like, they like to keep fighting. They kind of they kind of hit us with their best shot early in the game. That's what they did. Their best shot apparently was going to, I think that was a goal line formation, hitting this 95-yard run on us, where a lot of guys didn't do their job correctly. Uh, they spent the, the whole, like, <laughs> like I said, halftime. Everybody slapped on the wrist, slapped on the wrist. Hey, you stop. Okay, do your job. And then we immediately came out, took advantage of uh, what they were doing to us, ran off 28 straight. And this one is in the books. They, they're, they're not all pretty, guys. They're not all pretty. These sliders do a good job of doing that. It was kind of a slow game. It was probably like what Iowa State wanted to do, which was muck it up. We didn't even get to 400 total yards. Uh, we were good on third down. I don't, I don't understand this. I don't think we were that bad. I do remember us. Something happened. We didn't kick the field goal. The, the sim never showed us. If you don't know, I, I never do. I don't do any of these special team plays because nothing really happens. Like I'm, when you're a player as as good at the game as I am, like if I really wanted to, I could just beat the court, beat the computer sixty to zero. I could cheese them and do all that. But I actually play the game. I actually have concepts and, 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 and I run a bunch of different stuff. And then I read the defense. I, I apply, you know, all the all the right football stuff to the game. And then I play it out because it's funner. Like I get games like this because you're trying, you know, you come in with a game plan, you're trying to execute it. Sometimes the other team just has your number and you got to get out of it. And other times it's like, no, we're just not executing it. We're missing. We're a yard here. We're an inch there. And once the plays, you know, once we start executing, things change. Defensively, we were great. But that was also their quarterback was just making a bunch of bad decisions. He he was out there seeing ghosts. He was taking off out of the pocket way earlier. Uh, some of these quarterbacks, they, they dot us up, but this off man we've been running this last two games has kind of, you know, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling it. The the plays where we just blow coverage are fewer and further between, even though we still they still don't get out. Like, they they get out leveraged so much in the passing game, it, it's, it bothers me because it's simple. Get to your zone. Stay in your zone. Cover the people in your zone. But, uh, you know, they can't all be winners. We were efficient in the pass game, pretty efficient in the run game. Uh, we eventually stopped hurting ourselves. The turnover, that was that was my fault. I uh, brain farted. And then there was almost a second interception that was com that was going to be completely on Galloway, not executing. Just how, how is a guy that open and you throw the ball? You underthrow 4-3 speed. You can't do that. Uh, our third down defense was pretty good. That's That's pretty good. Looking individually, because we have two guys, two guys. Galloway, he's a Heisman candidate. He's a, a No Bryant Cal, uh, candidate. And I, I want to say, is Walter Kemp running back? I think whatever the offense player of the year is, he, he, he's in there. Uh, running back by committee. I, I just almost refuse to give the ball to Hawkins. He is in the doghouse. He's in the doggiest of doghouses. None of our running backs ran for over 50 yards, though. And that was... I was a little off. Uh, Goss, Goss, you know, hey, some some games it just it just ain't working for you. Jackson had the, had the big play, but yeah, uh, we 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 held it down. Defense, oh man, defensive MVP Doyle and uh, Riley. Like Riley didn't doesn't have a bunch of tackles to show for it, but those two guys they were doing their job. They were really doing their job. We had oh my lord, one, three. Five, six, seven, nine sacks? What? I didn't even, in the heat of the moment, I wasn't even paying that attention to that. We had nine sacks. Wow. Oh, Keith, you have, that field goal, you should have made that, bro. Okay, so he did, we did kick a field goal and he missed it. But yeah, man, hey, we, we, we executed enough. We, we were, we, faced an opponent that just was not on our level and we let them stay in the game i don't know if that's just because we were on the road at and uh, jack tri stadium i don't know what it was but we survived 
uh, give the video a like if you liked it. Comment, I'm not Hollywood, I comment back. Share the video wherever you think other people would like to check it out. And sub if you watched it, you liked it, and you're feeling it, you wanna keep, you know, you, know, you wanna stay up to date with how the team is doing. Because it didn't cost you a thing, you know. We're just, just trying to grow the channel. But I uh, thank you for watching. See you wherever. Hey, Hami, shout out to Pride by Katana for most of the music I use in the vids. Be sure to follow on social media. I follow back. Links to all that info in the description. For more content, be sure to subscribe and click one of the links at the end of the video for more videos. Please continue to watch, like, share, and repeat. Thank you.